What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC moveset guide. Before we start, I have to say that uh, the other video when we were talking about Goldango, I apparently didn't mention this, but I knew it while I was talking about it. Uh, I just like didn't say it out loud because I don't know why, I just literally forgot. Uh, make it rain is a spread move, let that be known. A lot of people were commenting like, hey, you didn't mention it was a spread move. And I was like, yes, I did. And then I checked the video and apparently I didn't. But yeah, it's a spread move. Keep that in mind when you're using it. Uh, but yeah, uh, with that out of the way, let's talk about today's moveset guide. We are talking about Slitherwing. I gotta let you know, Slitherwing is the most adorable Pokemon ever. Uh, when he stands up and he has to use his big tail just to like keep balance, that is just adorable to me for some reason. I like him. He's, he's just such a little cutie. Uh, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna talk about this guy. It's a bug and fighting type. It is. It's got like that buzzwall typing. It's got that hair across typing. Uh, but it's it's really interesting with its move pool. But before we get into that, if you guys enjoy this standpoint in time, do me a favor, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content. Two videos a day recently. I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to keep that up, but uh, we'll try. Uh, but yeah, also comment down below the next Pokemon you want me to cover in the moveset guide. Uh, obviously, I'm doing the top comment each time. Last time it was Slitherwing, the time before it was Goldango. We'll see what it's gonna be. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So Slitherwing is a bug fighting type. It's got the ability Protosynthesis, which means that in the sun, it or if it has the item booster energy, uh, it will gain a 30% boost into any stat uh, except for speed, where it will gain a 50% boost if it is the highest stat. So whatever the highest stat is, you'll get a 30% boost or a 50% boost of its speed. Uh, that's very cool. You basically get a life orb in the sun. Um, and it's like pretty much impossible to boost this thing's speed stat without like reducing the attack IVs. So effectively, every single time you use this, you're gonna get a, uh, a physical attack boost in the sun or with booster energy. Uh, that bug fighting type gives it access to a lot of really cool moves, close combat, leech life, first impressions, a big one. Uh, but it also keeps a couple of really interesting things from uh, the whole Volcarona thing. Uh, so it has access to Will-O-Wisp. I don't have any move sets of that on it. I don't think it's actually a great option, but it might find some use at, at some point. Uh, but it also has like Flare Blitz, it's got um, Flame Charge, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this first moveset. So the first moveset that I have for you guys today uh, is actually going to be a Clear Amulet set. Now, Clear Amulet is really cool. It's, it's a item that just makes you very annoying to deal with. Like it is unintimidatable. It is unicy windable. Uh, and at 81 base speed, this guy is actually able to speed creep, so that way if you go for a flame charge, you'll outspeed Dragapults, which is really nice. Um, and for every one of these sets, I'm going to recommend either Fighting Bug or Fire as your tarot type. One of the sets, I messed up the slides, but I'm not going to fix it. Uh, fire is optional on every single one of these. Uh, but yeah, so this set is running 252 HP, 12 attack, 4 defense, 12 special defense, and 228 speed. But like I said, that uh, Jolly 228 speed is going to allow you to outspeed Dragapult after a single flame charge. Uh, the HP is just maxed out. I just put four defense and like 12 special defense and 12 attack because I'm like listen like this is inconsequential let's just make it look kind of fancy uh obviously you could just do like four attack but I thought that having a little bit more attack is probably for the best uh but yeah uh our moveset is close combat leech life flame charge and bulk up so bulk up is actually really cool what I think is going to be really nice for the set is a lot of people will actually lead off Arcanine versus Slitherwings in order to intimidate them but you actually are unintimidatable and on that turn one if you decide to Terra fire and bulk up uh, they're going to whiff their burn on you because your burn immune is a fire type. And then you got plus one defense, plus one attack. And then on the next turn, you can actually go for a stab plus one flame charge into whatever you want to. And now you're outspeeding most things in the format. You're also never going to get one shot by opposing uh, Flutterman. So it's, it's actually like a super scary Pokemon to deal with. Uh, if you manage to get that set up. Obviously, this is a lot easier to get set up than it sounds like in doubles because you have uh, access to fake out partners, intimidate partners, redirection like Amoongus. I'm actually probably gonna build around this one really soon. Like this is this is probably my favorite set I made. Like it is really cool. Uh, but yeah, from that point on, uh, you have stab on your fire moves, uh, your bug moves and your fighting type moves. So close combat is gonna be an amazing wall breaker, especially if you're in the sun and you get that uh, protosynthesis boost on it for an extra life orb. Uh, you have flame charges, just like your main fire stab as well as speed boosting. I think at plus one, your flame charge with stab might be able to KO a Fluttermane. Don't quote me on that. It's like not physically bulky at all, but I feel like it would. Um, and your final move is leech life. So like leech life is gonna allow you to go for um, decent stab damage on stuff like Amoongus and 
obviously a flame charge would like one shot Amoongus at like plus two, but like leech life will give you recovery is my point. Uh, you'll be able to recover off of stuff like Amoongus that has like a high HP stat, uh, stuff like Grim Snarl. Uh, you'll be able to hit that with a neutral hit and get some recovery back. Uh, but yeah, like it's this is mainly just meant to be a fat set that is very annoying to uh, to KO. Uh, but I will say that while you can tear it into fighting or bug, fire is probably going to be your best option here. I do think that you don't want to be either one of those typings, but you do want to maintain the stab on those. The next move set I have is going to be an Assault Vest set. We're running 28 HP, Max Attack, and Jolly 228 Speed. Once again, we just want to be able to outspeed Dragapult after a single Flame Charge. However, now, uh, since we can't use Bulk Up, we've actually made room for the move First Impression. Now, a First Impression off of this thing, it's 90 base power, it has 135 attack and stab on that thing. You're going to be able to deal some pretty massive damage to pretty much anything. Uh, opposing... Freaking, what, what is his name? Uh, Roaring Moon is not going to appreciate that, especially if you decide to like Terra Bug and go for it. It may come close to one-shotting. That thing is better special defense than physical defense, if I recall. Uh, so it is like, it is quite a strong move. Obviously, this becomes Intimidate food because we lose that uh, clear amulet. However, I do think that is still going to be a pretty decent set. Uh, the extra bulk on it will allow you to take on Flutter Mains a little bit better uh, because that um, Assault Vest combo with like a Fire type will... Uh, allow you to resist the fairy moves while also taking neutral damage from ghost moves. And this thing already has like a really decent special defense stat, which is why rather than investing directly into it, we invest into HP. Because all, all things combined, like on the special side, you're going to be eating like, what is it? You're going to be eating like uh, Life Orb Muddy Waters from Pokemon at this point, just because it's so fat on that side. But yeah, uh, not much to discuss here. Let's go ahead and move on to the final move set, which is going to be the booster energy set. This one's even more simple. It feels weird. Each move set got simpler as it went because I was too excited to talk about like the bulk up set. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're running max speed, max attack, jolly nature, 4 HP with the booster energy, close combat, leech life, flame charge, first impression. Now the first impression off of this one's going to be very scary because you can tear it into bug and with booster energy, you're going to get a 30% boost on your physical attacks. And then you can smack whatever you want with that first impression. Obviously, it's a one time use. Uh, so you have to be really smart with it. You're still Intimidate Food, so keep that in mind. But now, with 135 attack maxed out with a uh, Life Orb boost effectively, uh, you're going to be hitting things so hard with that close combat. Your Flame Charge will be doing respectable damage, even if you're not going for the stab boost. And of course, Leech Life will get this thing uh, a little bit more longevity uh, overall. I would say that as far as partners go, a lot of people have been asking me to like recommend partners for Pokemon. Uh, as far as partners go, Slitherwing is 100% going to need some kind of fake out support. You could run an Arcanine next to it, to be honest, because you're not actually doubling down on fire types unless you decide to Terra. Um, but yeah, like it's going to require that. Uh, Tailwind support is obviously appreciated as things like Fluttermane will be able to outspeed you even after you're plus one. Uh, so if you're able to combo it with... Um, I don't know. Maybe Corviknight will be a thing. Actually, why have people not been using Corviknight? Sorry, I'm just like realizing that. Is, is Corviknight not good? I feel like it's like decent. It takes on a lot of things really easily. I'm gonna have to look into that. Yeah, Corviknight probably isn't a bad partner next to it either because while it is Intimidate food, Intimidating opposing Arcanine to make them just have to sit on the field um, and have their Flare Blitzes do even less is uh, quite nice. Defiant Pokemon are obviously really good since this thing pretty much calls in the Intimidators like, hey, come in. I am scary. I need you to make sure I am not. Uh, so if you can have a Defiant Pokemon next to it, like uh, King Gambit uh, or um, what's his name? Probably not Annihilate because you're doubling down on fighting types in a fairy meta. Uh, that's obviously not great. Uh, Amoongus is pretty decent here, uh, even though you share a lot of weaknesses with it, obviously the flying weakness, if you are going to turn to that fire type, uh, redirection is appreciated. And I would say Indeedee is actually quite nice. Indeedee plus Slitherwing seems like a really good combination, because uh, Indeedee is going to be able to prevent any fake out versus you uh, while you go for your setup, especially with that first moveset, the bulk up moveset, uh, and go for like follow me and even helping hand uh, your... Uh, attacks into things to make sure you're just securing those KOs or even like helping handing a plus one leech life not only will you usually get a KO but you'll be able to recover a lot more health with the extra damage so yeah that's gonna be it uh for today's moveset guide this one was a little bit more simple than a lot of the other ones mainly because it hasn't really found a place in the meta yet but I think we'll see a team or two pop up here and there let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, oh, also use Torkoal next to it. Sorry, Torkoal is obviously a really good option for the Protosynthesis. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. Uh, comment down below what you think of Slitherwing, what Pokemon you want me to uh, make a moveset guide for next. Uh, and yeah, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.